Hi, this is Echo X, and welcome to one of my other mini tutorials that I've started up. And today we're going to go over collections, um, a little bit about the scripting, Microsoft scripting runtime reference that I'm going to add. Um, that will be dealing with the dictionary and the type of um, type of finding if if a control is a label or a command button or so and so forth. So what we're going to do here is go to standard exe, hit OK, and then we're going to go. Sh Go ahead and add a button and a label. I'm going to change the label color so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, so we got a label and a button. Go ahead and close that. And you can right click over here and go to view code. Same as if we went up to the top and hit view code. Um, first thing we're going to do is go right into the form load. And then we'll declare our control which is going to be each control in our head. So I'm just going to put it like this. You can declare whatever you want. Then we're going to loop through find type. So what we do is we do for each control in controls. Now controls in controls right here means within this form. So you could have a different form name if you needed to. Um, I do that for public, if you're ever going to use a different form than the one you're using. So we have form 1 here. If we were using a form 2, we want to reference controls from there. We would type form 2, but that should be in a public module. Because again, you're referencing to another form that should be open, and if it isn't, you're going to have problems with it. So we're going to take this control, and we want to know the type, excuse me, if type of control. Now, since you're comparing as an object, use is command button then end if you want to take the control and get its name but we need also the message box so I have to put message box in front here okay now that's going to tell us if there's a command button it's going to tell us the name of that one when it loops through the controls it's command one yes that's correct right here's command one and right here's label one now we can put more buttons and it loop tells each of that control's name if it was a command button. What if we didn't want a command button? We have every other kind of control, but we don't want the command button. Then here we'd go if not type of is command button. Then message box that control. Okay, well we have now label one. Now if we put anything else in here, maybe a combo, bo combo box or something similar to that, it would message box those as well. Maybe a picture box. Um, so that's how you loop through there. Now it's for each. I didn't explain too much last time, but for each has to be, I think, within forms and controls. You can't just do for each like you can with for um, index number from 1 to 3. Um, so for each you're just going to use only in this case. <clears throat> Not if you're going to loop through an array, you don't use for each. Okay, so we're going to go straight into now the collections. So we're going to do declare dim cold collection as collection. Okay. Now here we could do as new collection. That's how you set it up. If you weren't going to do it this way, then you could start doing your collection here. But let's say you want your collection more permanent in the form. If you weren't going to do it that way, then you need to have it up here. Option explicit Oops. Declare private as collection. I don't think you can put as new collection. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. I guess you can for now. Um, so we'll go ahead and see if we can get this working. I'll explain what a collection is. at W for now. Make sure it's working. Okay. Um, so up here we could have as as collection, but then in here you have to um, set it equal to new collection. So there's different ways to do this. I believe that's how you do it. Yeah. But in this case you can just put here 
as new collection. You can't just put as collection. What happens if you try to add things to it, um, it won't work. It has to be a new collection, brand new. Um, otherwise, your refer if you put as collection, you have to say the collection is equal to a previous collection that you made. Um, so try to understand that. If you have more questions about it, we'll go over it. Now here's what a collection is. Um, it's basically basically keeping a list, an inventory. Uh, your item can be anything pretty much. It's a variant. So uh, what I'm doing here is I'm putting in the command 1 button. And the key, you notice that it is got those brackets. Remember I said that's just optional. But I gave it a key string of W. Um, before and after is where you can move the index. Right now, this is only the first index. So instead of this being like an array where you start at index of zero, if you don't declare your your in, your, um, your beginning index and your ending index, your bounds, excuse me, then uh, that would be zero initially. But here it's one. So um, the cool thing about this collection, though, is because you can pass a variant in here and keep variant information. Um, you can just put as new collection and you can have an, uh, a key. So basically, if this button was very um, very needy for whatever reason we need it to be able to remember it, um, all we need to remember is this W because we're making a collection and it's going to go right to command 1. So here's how we would use this. Bear with me because I'm trying to remember. Uh, item message box it oops dot name that should work so it's going through the collection right here it's looking for item with the key w goes through here and says in the memory we have this collection so in here it would say oh we have command one so this becomes command one button and then that would just be dot name so when I run this it says command one perfect that's what it is message box um, we could do the next one which would be S now 